Here's the story. Back in 2012, I got myself into this random kick of wanting to buy sealed booster boxes of old Pokemon, like, vintage sets. Um, I just thought it would be fun to open because it was what I did as a child, and I never really had the money, obviously, as a kid to, like, buy stacks of Pokemon cards. So, um, yeah, I went through this phase where I was uploading videos of me kind of opening these old packs. And I'm not sure if you guys have been following the freaking internet lately, but um, a lot of those sets if you have the sealed boxes are going for insane amounts of money logan paul just bought a first edition base set booster box for 200 grand and uh, today we're going to basically be going and uh, reacting to my old self wasting a whole bunch of money if i kept all of these things sealed i could be uh could have put a bought a house but instead um i'm here with a shitty camera opening up packs and <laughs> we're gonna go through and uh, kind of talk about that a little bit today. So I actually, I have a list, and I really went through this kick. Like I was, I was all about collecting Pokemon cards for a short time because I was like, I have the money and, it, and it's fun to do. So today we're going to be going through the video of me opening the base set booster box, and that's kind of the the point of today's video is that base set, the very first set of Pokemon cards, is going through this insane increase in value. Like it is absolutely wild how much money you can get for these old cards if you have them in good condition let alone a sealed box there's not a whole lot left in the world because these things are like over 20 years old and uh, they're going for a whole bunch of money but on my list here these are all of the sets that i bought as sealed boxes and i opened just for enjoyment a lot of them are recorded on my secondary youtube channel which is where we're going to be watching today's video but uh, i thought it would be kind of fun to go through and show you how much value i have uh ripped open so First of all, we have the base set booster box, obviously, going for an insane amount of money. I also got base set 2, which is the reprint set of base set, and uh, not nearly as valuable. But keep in mind, I spent no more than $500 for each of these boxes. I, I Like, $300 for a lot of them, and uh, that's insane. But yeah, so I have base set, base set 2. I got Jungle, Fossil, Team Rocket 1st Edition. I bought two of those boxes, the Team Rocket 1st Edition boxes. For whatever reason, I have I got two of them. So that was super random. And then I also had Legendary Collection, which uh, is, again, a very expensive set. I only paid $400, I'm pretty sure, for that box. So today we're going to be taking a little little walk through time and going through um, the life of me as a 17-year-old, not realizing how much money I am literally tearing open. I mean, obviously, I still have all of the cards. And as you'll see here, this bad boy is one that I got from... Freaking light does not want to work. This is a Gem Mint 10 First Edition Dark Charizard. Um, I got this thing graded. You can get a lot more value out of cards if they're in good condition and get them graded. And this card right here is worth more than I spent on all of these boxes sealed. But if I kept them sealed, your boy would be ballin'. But let's get right into it here. We're gonna go ahead and hop into my old YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash Mewtwo, which uh, I tended to upload these old videos onto of me opening Pokemon cards. And uh, here we have the video of the Pokemon base set booster box opening. Um, I'm sure we've already had the value, in, the value of this box come across the screen, but check this out. I thought this was actually pretty funny. Um, in the description here, probably my last box opening because this thing was expensive as fuck. Got it for $400. This exact thing just sold for $50,000. I was concerned because it was $400. That was, you literally can't even buy a single pack of these cards for $400. Not even close. So, uh, that is insane. These, the, the value is like absolutely wild with these. But, so today we're going to be going through this video and it should be an interesting one. I am going to physically hurt on the inside. Super cringy, right. so, I assume. I got a base set one booster box, the first I sure do. Pokemon booster box that was ever made, ever came yep. out. I'm using a okay, it was a little dinged up, so it wasn't in the best condition, but still, that is a God. sealed Look at this thing. This thing is old as fuck. base set in one. Someone storage for like ten years, just waiting for somebody to open. So don't open it. Uh, wait, waiting for someone to open it. You should sealed. never open it. And oh God. With a there there goes the seal, boys. He there like, it goes. You better not fucking open this thing without me. It's like I know it's happening, but like. So <sighs> here. Oh my god. 
I had my buddy James in the room too. He was he wanted to open the cards. Broken. Now this <laughs> thing is not worth shit. Oh my god! I even knew. Not worth shit now that I opened it. It still is, obviously. If I mean, if I would have kept a couple no, no. packs. Hold on. I think actually there was a part in this video where I mentioned that I'm gonna keep a sealed pack or like th I wanted one of each of the the arts. I just opened them all because I have absolutely no self control. But here I am, just forcing this thing open. Another thing that is gonna be a recurring theme with this video is uh, me basically just handling these things not very carefully, which is gonna be extremely cringy. But look at that beauty. I am about to nut. Yeah. I can't even get. <laughs> thing doesn't go in there, dude. Okay, there we there go. We go. So nice. Nice. Look, I, I synced up. <laughs> all right. So, as you can see, there is look a at all of those pack. packs. Very nice. There's a Charizard pack. I don't and know what a single pack. pack of base set no. sells for, but I'm gonna That's post. I'm gonna put that on in post all these bad and absolutely cry. Here. Oh yeah. <laughs> The money shot, baby. And Just we have stacks. A shitload of old Pokemon cards that I haven't touched since I was like six. Yep. There's one other extremely oh. sad <laughs> part of this video let's, let's that you're gonna going. need gonna to take, watch the whole thing to, to figure out, it, but it still hurts here. me to this day. Say, so yeah, look at that. I took yeah. one out and saved it for later. I'm pretty sure I opened that like a week later because I was bored. One first. Might as well. Getting into the first pack, so we're gonna go through probably highlights because I mean there's a lot of packs. There's 36 that come in this box, and boy oh boy, would I kill to have like three of these packs right now? They're no first edition. Right, we got Ponyta, Star you. Look at me, I'm just Metapod, just ripping through Duran, them. Energy, energy, Ivysaur. Like even an Ivysaur Arena, in graded energy, condition goes for a lot. And the first rare is a fucking super energy. Okay. Removal. <laughs> the first rare being the super energy removal is super base set. There's literally Half of the rares in this entire box are worthless enter, or, uh, worthless fucking trainers, so that's going to be rec a recurring theme. Just keep that in mind. We'll probably still just skip to the cool stuff, but I'm honestly interested to see what I, I get. I, I, I'm, I mean, I have most of these cards still, luckily, in good condition, and like these cards just being, like literally, there's a Blastoise that I pulled that I actually have right here. And this Blastoise is worth more than what I paid the whole entire box for. So let's go ahead and see how much value I fucked myself out of. Yeah, Just double fisting. I can make it rain with this. I'm gonna things. open this Charizard one. <laughs> Better be a Charizard. Better be a Charizard. Rare. I was back in my parents' house recently, going through all my old stuff, and when I, I found all, all right. of these. Magnemite. They're all in great Digital. condition still, luckily. Falling I wasn't back. an absolute Still. idiot and just like Onyx. threw these things away, energy, energy. obviously. But Magic I kept them in nice condition, which Tuna. is great. But Super the holographics, really if they get graded um, right in pretty there, good condition, they could be worth a lot. Let's see what this rare is. And, and the rare is a B drill. A B drill. That's so, a lot of money down the drain. Just opening that bad boy. You'd love to see it. Okay, so of course I let James open some packs too. Wind. <laughs> and energy. And My buddy was here. Of course, he had to. He had to get himself some packs. And a Pokemon Center. Nice. Ooh, there's me all opening right. the window. Great production value, just and all around. And the rare is a Doug Trio. <laughs> yeah. Nice. You know, another thing is there's a lot of errors in these Five. cards that you can find that makes Holy the cards world. worth a lot more. And Super. I might have missed some. Like now, I'm going back watching this. Let me know if you see any error cards that I missed that could and be worth rare. a shit ton of money. Oh. Hollow Blastoise. There he is, boys. <laughs> All right, so I just put this Blastoise in his sleeve. Oh, thank God. I put it right into his sleeve. That actually makes me extremely happy. I was kind of wondering. I literally thought I just opened stuff and just was throwing them around. But I do have that bad boy in this sweet PSA 9 case. It's not a PSA 10, unfortunately. The thing is perfect. I don't know how it didn't get a 10, but that's funny. I might have even pulled two Blastoises from this. Like, literally just that Squirtle. Switch, and energy, and energy. Like five Squirtles a graded maintenance. in 10 condition would be worth more than I paid for this entire power. box. And the rare is a train. Shit! <laughs> and the rare Hollow Hit Monster. Okay, okay. Wait, I think I still have, I have that one too. I have a stack of these that I think I got from this video. And uh, yeah, I still, ha I still have the Hitmonchan. Here he is right here. I'm gonna open this one He's made it. We can think he's not want to focus. Nice. Get my chance at a pretty decent, uh, decent hollow. I mean, literally all of the hollows that you can get from these packs are worth a ton of money, but only if they're in good condition. I feel like a lot of these kids back in the day, the reason why they're valued so high now in good condition is that 
Everybody had them as a kid and fucking got spaghetti stains on them at the lunch table. And uh, there's not a lot of good condition ones left. Okay, so we got a Weedle. Here's a James just tearing through Tanga, cards. A Starmie, Gastly, Getting his dirty ass energy, fingers all energy, over these cards. Haunter, See, War Turtle is another good one. I gotta go back and find these bulk cards, man. These things are worth the rare even is just. A ooh, I don't know where the hell that thing is. I definitely don't have that with me anymore. Why are you, Chansey? That's a really hard one to grade. If that thing gets a 10 condition, I'm pretty sure Chansey is worth uh, a pretty penny. I'll probably be having the valuations of all these hollows in uh, PSA 10 condition coming up on the screen. So you can feel the pain with me as uh, I'm over here. Not, I don't know where that card is. I think, I, I mean, I have most of them. It's got to be around here somewhere. But just the fact that I didn't keep these sealed, I lost out on so much money. And this is only one box. I had like six... Rousey, More than Ocean, six booster boxes Bulbasaur, I opened. Onyx. Bruh. I can't believe I was letting Tata. James freaking open these Wordle, cards, man. A Metapod. Energy. Should energy, not be letting people touch these. <laughs> Farfetched. And the rare is a Hollow Clefairy. Okay, a Hollow Clefairy. Oh. Not the one you're looking for, but we love to see it. Like perfect condition. There's not even any sparkling on the side. Perfect condition. <laughs> I nerd out about this shit way more now. I, I, I do still have that thing somewhere. I will. Sh I should probably get all these graded. See, the thing is, I still have the value in that I have the cards, but. Down for two chances, though. All right, Charizard pack. Why not? Better be a goddamn. I'm just opening these things so erroneously, just fucking going for. It. If I had these now, I'd be like putting on gloves. Okay. Also, I probably am able to complete like a full set of base set with all these cards if I know where the stacks of these things are. Oh. Hello, okay. Polyrath. Okay, we love to see a Polyrath. Okay. Not bad. Nice. Already gotten a pretty Check that bad boy out. Solid set of hollows. So I believe you're guaranteed 12 hollows in a booster box. And uh, obviously, if all 12 of them came back as 10 conditions, your boy would be balling. Even the Pikachu is worth a lot. Like I see James over there just shoving that thing in his hand. If that gets a ten, if that gets a PSA 10, I, I, Pikachu. And is worth gone, um, and is worth a decent amount of money. You know, people love people love their fat Pikachus. Oh, a hollow nine tails. Okay, Damn. all right. Don't touch it. it. Put it right into a sleeve, I, please. We are all over that hollow shit. Put it directly it's into the back. sleeve. Yes. Oh, see, I know. I actually okay. I was taking. Ooh, ooh. Some damage went down right there. Now it's a now it's not a ten condition. I just scraped the fucking thing across the bottom. Why am I time. like this? So here's the spoiler. Which one do you think? There was, there was not a Charizard in this entire box, which is insane. Everybody that I've watched open one of these boxes gets at least a Charizard. And a PSA 10, just unlimited base set Charizard, goes for a pretty good, a pretty good price. But of course, I get the one box. I don't think I got a Charizard in any of the boxes that I opened. Actually, now that I think about it, that's a lie. I got two first edition. Team Rocket Dark Charizards. Yeah. It's like I'm watching this Plus still power, hoping for the Charizard. Whirl, knowing it's not coming, but there is still some pretty big hits you can pull from these cards. So I mean like anything's nice, and but where's the Zard at? There is a Clefairy doll. Let's just open up this Zard real quick. Oh my god. It's not there. Just leave it sealed and don't touch yeah, it again. Zard. We got Metapod, Diglett, Pika. Okay, I should be keeping count of these Pikachus though, because I need to find those things and get them graded. I didn't. Where did I put those things? I'm sure. I'm sure I opened two of them like a week later. I did save one for like a year, and then I came home from college, and then I busted it open. And guess what the rare was? It was a B drill. Should not have fucking opened. I could have sold that thing from. Oh my god. Alright, we got Why Amanda. We... And there is another hollow hit not, that I got two, two of those. I, th I think I sold that one. <laughs> In the description of this video, I was like, I'm selling Double my doubles. I probably sold that thing for like $8. Today, so just... I could have just got it's it graded it and it'd be worth a decent amount now. But I was like, we don't need a double. Why can't I add double Charizards? Out of all the things to get doubles of, that would be amazing. Or even a, even like a, a freaking Blastoise or Venusaur or something. Come on. So far, we only have one Blastoise as a starter. Yeah. And that's really where the value comes in. Like, when they price these boxes, they're basically going off the fact that it's guaranteed almost to have like a, like a Charizard in it that's in obviously mint condition because it's unopened. So you're really banking on the fact that you're going to get a good conditioned Charizard. 
for that and price. This rare. one, Ooh, nice. Oh, okay, okay. I was going to say, that one looked like it was warped. These things are just so old that in the packs, they're like super warped. Yeah, I even showed it. Yeah. That's, why, that's one of my favorites, though, for sure. Nita King, he a baller. But and my, my house phone was ringing. This was when house phones were a thing. Okay, this is a hollow for sure. I can tell. I can already tell. Yep. Oh. You too. Okay. Nice. 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 Hell yeah. Perfect. Wait, I have, I have that boy here, too. Look, they're all super really warped. Hopefully, I don't think that messes with it. But check it out. I got him in, obviously, a card saver now. That is that exact card. Eight what years later. Box has been <laughs> Terrible focus, I know. But stuff. look at that. And I'm just leaving that thing up. Love to see it. Carefully now. Carefully. Down to the last four packs. Even if I just saved those, boy, would I be in good shape financially. And rare. Okay. Love to see it. Raichu. We're getting down real close to not having a freaking Charmander 17 year old. <laughs> Charizard 17 year old Hayden. What's going on here, buddy? Why would you open this thing? I'm pretty sure my dad at one point was like, why would you spend $400 on Pokemon cards, bro? And I'm like, I don't know. Can we have another holo, please? Oh my god. I got two Polyraths. Those are the least valuable cards in the entire set. I'm pretty sure Polyrath is like. It's got. I, yeah, it's, it's definitely. That and like Clefairy, I think. Okay. Right, Don't struggle one, so hard to put one. it in there, man. Carefully. Bullpex, uh, energy, energy, polyworld, flu, and Kadabra. Come on now, bruh. Wait. F Before? Fun fact about that Kadabra card. They actually don't print any more Kadabra cards in any of the trading card game. Because there was some type of lawsuit with, like, a magician who had that as, like, his name. Or some something weird was going on with it. But it, it, So, like, that Kadabra card is actually kind of worth more than normal. Because of the fact that, yeah, they don't print those anymore. The What's rare. the rare? Electabuzz. Electabuzz. Okay, that was the first one I got of those. I that thing's sitting somewhere in my parents' attic. And, uh... We'll find you someday. Okay. Probably in one of these I didn't get a Charizard, but I, I kept those three sealed. Um, you can't just not open it. That's why... That's probably can't why I freaking open it. Can't, can't just not open this. We have to. Am I gonna do it? Well, think, all right, we're going to open. No, see you in 30 years. We're going to open. We're gonna <laughs> oh, my open God, one. no. Jason, that would have been so much smarter if I just would have. Oh, my God. He said, see you in 30 years. Dude, even like a few years would have been great to do. I have absolutely no self-control, and I hate my past self. One more. So no, much. No, wait. It's any meaning my mouth. It's oh, my it, God. I do do one it. more, though. Nice pack. All right. Here's, the la here's our last chance. To get the full value at the time from this. Let's see what trainer, we got. Was it worth it? Energy, energy, I kept two, energy, but I know turtle, for sure I opened both of them at some point and there was not even another hollow in them. Another dragon. Oh, shit. <laughs> Just a dragon. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. Click thumbs up on this video if you've got an interest. Make sure to thumbs up, trip. rate five stars, and leave a comment. Good lord. So, that, uh, I really wish I didn't do that. So it's not like I lost all of the value because obviously, I mean, I have a fat stack of these things still. I mean, I have all of the cards from when I opened all these booster boxes, but bruh, if I didn't open the sealed boxes, I could have a whole bunch of money, but I don't. And instead I just have a bunch of cardboard that I gotta spend a bunch of money to get graded and then they'll be worth, I mean, luckily they're all in good condition. I mean, most of them. So like this Blastoise that got the nine condition, they're probably all, in the ballpark of that but uh yeah today's video is a little bit different hopefully you enjoyed watching me um watch myself waste a whole bunch of money so <laughs> i could probably make a thousand videos on freaking this type of stuff because i do i do have quite a bit of interest still in pokemon cards so yeah and that was just that was literally just one, like one of the boxes. I had so many more that I opened up on this channel. If you want to go watch these for yourself, you can just go to youtube.com slash Mewtwo and uh, go check those out and leave a comment and be like, don't do it. Don't you do it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. <laughs> just kidding. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. And uh, peace out.